Hi, I'm William Spaniel. Let's learn some game theory. Today we're going to go over the centipede game. And the centipede game has this really, really long, extensive form. Note that I haven't even written out the full thing. I took the liberty of cutting out part of it, but that's okay because the game just repeats itself over and over again. If I did want to write it out, it would have a hundred legs and a head, hence the name. Here, though, I've only given you eight legs and a head, but like I said, that's fine. The good news is that we can still use backward induction no matter how long a game is, so we'll use it to solve this one. And of course, we begin at the end. Player 2 is faced with the choice of being honorable and splitting the 200 points evenly between the two players, or defecting and taking just a little bit more. Since 101 is greater than 100, 2 decides to defect. We then use that information to backtrack by a step and check what player 1 will do. Anticipating 2's defection, 1 will choose to preempt her by ending the game prematurely. Now we use that information to see what player 2 will do the step before that. Since she's anticipating player 1 to end the game on the next step, she will want to preempt him a turn earlier and take 99 points over 98. Now if we do that all over the place at each single step that you see in the game, we will see that goes all the way back to the first step, and I'll leave you to verify that on your own. Once there, though, player 1 has to choose between 2 points and 1, and certainly 2 points is better, so he ends the game at the very first step. This is a really unfortunate conclusion if you think about it. If the players could have trusted each other, then player 1 would have finished with 98 more points, and player 2 would have finished with 100 more. But the rational equilibrium is for player 1 to take his 2 points immediately and completely screw over player 2. Unfortunately, this isn't what actually happens in practice, and it highlights a couple of problems with backward induction. And we'll get to those in the next video.